Welcome to Visual Arts and Design. I'm Alice Everest. And I'm Chris Waite, and we are co-directors of Visual Art and Design. So uh, if you decide to come to, to Visual Art and Design, you'll be studying uh, a level three with UAL, that's University of Arts London. And our qualification is Creative Practice in Art, art Design and Communication. Within that qualification, you'll be doing three units in each year. So uh, in the first year, what we try to do is try to make it quite broad. So you'll be learning a variety of disciplines. Um, they, will they will generally be across uh, graphics, textiles, um, print, and uh, general creative practice. So the UAL Level 3 Extended Diploma um, is a two-year course. It comprises of six units. Um, and within each year, one and two, you have to sit a final major project. All the grades do count, but the major grade is taken from your final major project. So year one, essentially, is where you can play and experiment across disciplines. And in year two is where we expect students to really focus on what they enjoy and what they feel they want to focus on, perhaps at university. In year two, also students will create independent projects. So the whole aim of this uh, two year course is to make you an independent practitioner. And again, within the year two, we generally teach through tutorial. So we will set a brief, the brief will be vocational. So it's externally focused. Um, we work with lots of different partners for that. So you should have a real life experience and then you'll work towards creating your own research and your own experimentation together with an outcome which you'll present for assessment. We believe uh, good learning is experiential learning so we encourage all our students to go out and visit places for example like galleries, museums, a uh, place of historical relevance um, just as a starting point to get those influences and to make sure they've got something to base their learning on. We are really successful in managing to create good partnerships with external uh, businesses and institutions and therefore we can then offer our students quite a wide variety of places to visit. We try and encourage all our students to go on an overseas trip and we've been to a variety of places from Barcelona, Paris. Berlin, Paris um, and ensure that all the students get to experience the cultural history all the museums, the galleries, as well as the food, the lifestyle, etc. So the important thing that we need to let you guys know is um, about the facilities that we have that you obviously can't physically come in and look at and enjoy. Um, we've got a full Mac suite, Mac room that we work with, with the full Adobe suite. Uh, we have a PC room that we work with. We've got our fully functioning dark room with the enlargers where we do a lot of wet room work as well as digital photography work as well. Uh, we've got a print studio with a screen wash and an exposure bed and also a print bed so we have full screen printing facilities as well as an etching press. We have um, a fully set up photography studio as well, um, a textile studio, 3D studio, um, so a huge amount of facilities that you guys can come in and actually use as well. So the opportunities and the partners that we have and have worked with in the past are the Royal Academy, we've worked with the Tomorrow Hub in Croydon, uh, Dulwich Pitch Gallery, we obviously have the UAL awarding body as well. Um, all partnerships that we've been exhibiting with, using their spaces, sharing facilities, also where we'll have um, guidance and lecturers coming in and supporting us as well. So it's a re we have really great partnerships that really work with us that we can do outward facing work Work as well as inward facing. Um, we've used exhibition space as well at Chelsea School of Art where we have had for two years in a row uh, really really fantastic exhibitions with lots of people present um, as well as Dulwich Picture Gallery, Royal Academy of the Arts with their Mayfair Arts Weekend uh, that we've been involved in as well. So huge amounts of external opportunities as well that um, are really present within our visual arts and design department. 
So many of our students go on to their first choice of um, university or further education or higher education course. Um, also, we have a small percentage of students will, that will go on to a vocational subject or they'll also want to go into the world of work. Um, and we really feel that they've been massively prepared for this within their portfolios, with the experience they've had. Um, again, with our briefs, we make sure that they are always vocational, they're always really open uh, so that our students get that real working experience. Also with this course as well, they do have in year two, a section where they do have some work-based learning whether that's in communication with employers, employees, um, and that they're part of their assessment. They have this kind of experience where they're working with the workplace as well. Um, also, more importantly, the feedback that we've had from universities through our students about our, their portfolios. Uh, Many institutions talk about their variety, the fact that they're not just about outcome, it's about the process. So they understand that although they're maybe going into fashion, they've got beautiful photography work going through their portfolios, as well as some sculptural pieces. So that's a really important piece of feedback that we've had as a course as well. Our university partners are uh, predominantly UAL, so it's University of Arts London, so it's uh, St Martins, Camberwell, Chelsea. LCC, um, but we also have really great relationships with Falmouth, um, Glasgow um, and Brighton. Um, predominantly, uh, we like to get universities to, to come into us um, so they can, they can get a feel of how our students, but we believe here that it gets you a foot in the door. And looking at our 94% our success rate, it proves that we are doing something right. So our students, um, we've got a piece here about our alumni. We kind of talk about our students about the fact that they may be quiet, but they make impact within the visual arts and creative worlds. Whether they become incredible photographers, a student who now is making uh, leather pouches, um, kind of portable bags that he's now got in Selfridges, um, to uh, a student that has recently just left CSM, where she was doing fashion, but actually she was starting to create incredible uh, furniture pieces um, out of wood and did these beautiful kind of shadow films uh, that she produced for her graduate show that actually had to go online. So um, they're really, really exciting people that are really good at being um, versatile, they can think on their feet, um, they're really excited and exciting, um, they've got a lot of energy about them but they're willing to take on lots of different things. And I think that's the really exciting thing about our course and what happens to our students. We introduce them to huge amounts of different areas through printmaking, photography, textiles, fashion. Um, we go through the digital arts with them, parts of performance art as well. And with that, they become these really interesting learners that even though they go on to degree courses, it doesn't mean that they have to stick to their one area of expertise. They really push the boundaries of their expertise into different areas and become successful in so many different things. So when it comes to who, who we want on, on our courses, we don't want that finished product. We don't want the kind of person that's already a complete expert in something. Um, we're looking for people that we can really encourage and develop and they can process. So we have a whole variety of students that usually join us um, from loads of different disciplines, um, from loads of different areas. And um, that's what makes the course really interesting as well and exciting because you bring a whole pool of different people together and just start seeing what they create. And with our staff, they are really versatile and they, they reflect on that and they look at that type of student and the different group of students that they've got and that's how we start to develop the course for that group of students that year. So each year it almost becomes bespoke to our students which is probably really, well it's massively unusual for a school to do. Um, so that's something that we're hugely proud of as our, within our department and within our school. So what applicant are we looking for? Well, we don't want, the, as Alice said, we don't want the finished product. We want students that are prepared to experiment, prepared to play, prepared to uh, really try and visualize that end goal for them. We all automatically presume that you want to work within the arts. So therefore we are very much pushing you to experience what the industry is like. So when you apply to us, 
Um, you'll be applying for one course only, so visual art and design hopefully. Um, and we ask you to fill in your own form and be really clear with those questions. Make sure that you don't write small amounts, make sure you write a real clear, precise answer to the questions that we give you. Once we've had your, received your application form, uh, we, will, we will look through it, we'll select the students to come for interview and on that interview day um, we will ask you to do a workshop as well as present and prepare a portfolio for us. Um, we will generally ask our students to present that portfolio online first so we can see that with your application form and then what we will ask you to bring uh, some more work with you on the day. So during the interview process uh, we will go through your portfolio with you but we'll be asking you about your current experience within visual arts and design whether that's through um, technical courses, you might be doing some graphic course, or you might be doing textiles in your current school, um, or you might be doing the Art and Design GCSE. So you don't have to just be doing Art and Design GCSE, you can do any of the other kind of more creative subjects as well. Um, and also we'll just be asking you questions maybe about exhibitions and artists, um, and also uh, your thoughts on the interview and whole workshop process. But students in the past that have really impressed us are students that are curious, they're clearly interested in our course and they understand about our course because you've read the um, information online, you've found out about it, you've got some intelligent, intelligent questions for us. Um, and it's that kind of energy that you're giving us that um, you are wanting to continue to learn and you're interested to learn a lot more about the arts and the creative arts and where that can take you career-wise into further or higher education. So it's such a shame that you can't join us tonight um, in physical presence. However, what we'd like you to see is uh, a variety of the work that we produce here in the VAD department. So you can join us on Twitter and Instagram. So our Twitter account is VAD Brit School, so VAD Brit School, um, or on Instagram, which is VAD Brit School. The deadline is the 31st of January 2021 for your applications. We cannot wait to receive your applications, have a good look through them and get ready to see all of the fantastic work that you've been doing as well. Um, it's a really, really exciting part of our year when we start to look at who we could be teaching for the next two years. and. Um, bring into our family and our environment and um, get to know you. So please make sure that you get um, applying as soon as possible and get it in there before the 31st of January.